What is up guys? Today I'm going to be telling you the difference between the on component overlap and the on component hit notes. I'm going to be breaking down when you should be using each one and giving examples for each. Before we start, if you could drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to support me doing these videos, that would be really appreciated. Okay, let's get into this. So for anyone who doesn't know, these on component overlap and hit nodes are events which trigger, like the name says, when you overlap a collision or when you hit a collision. So if at face value they both do the same thing, which one do you use? Well, let me break it down. Requirements. Both nodes require a tick checkbox to activate. Component overlap needs to have generate overlap events ticked and component hit needs to have generate hit events ticked inside the object details. Both the nodes need to have the appropriate collision with your overlap being set to overlap objects and your hit being set to block objects. Okay, here's the important one. Simulate physics must be checked for component hit but not for component overlap. By simulating physics on an object, gravity will now be applied to it, meaning the object will fall to the ground and it will collide with other objects. I'm sure you can see how this would be an issue when attaching a weapon to a mannequin's hand, not just because the weapon would collide with the mannequin, but because it's going to be pretty hard swinging a sword that is constantly falling to the ground. So if this is the case, why would we ever use on component hit when on component overlap does the same job with less requirements. Well, my friends, that is because our on component hit node comes with some extra information. When we use a hit event and generate a hit, we can actually break down this hit and get some extra information from it, which we can't with the overlap. Say you want to spawn a particle system at the location of where your weapon struck an enemy. For this, we'd need the hit results. So how do we get a hit result without simulating physics on a weapon or object? Well, we can't use our overlap event because we need the hit information. But we also can't use the hit event as this requires simulate physics, meaning our weapon would collide with our character and fall to the ground. So what do we do? Well, we actually can't do anything with either of these nodes, but we can use something else called a line trace. And a line trace is basically a generated line used to detect collision. So I'm not going to be going into details on line traces today, but what we can do is specify a start and end location for the trace, give it an object to look for, and fire it off multiple times. When the trace hits an object, we can then break this hit information to find the hit location. So to summarize, use the component overlap node every time you want to trigger a collision event without hit information, a checkpoint for example. Use the component hit node every time you want to trigger a collision with hit information that's not a character handheld object. A booby trap hitting the player for example. Use a trace node every time you need a collision with hit information when you want to avoid simulating physics on that object. A weapon for example. And that my friends is everything. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't let